Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. The bounty is going up by another 5 mil to 75 mil, so good luck to you hunters out there. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> nope, nope. No, you fucking don't, dude. No, you don't. What a sneaky little guy. How do you know I was there? I'm being dead honest when I say this. As I was going to that farm patch, I opened up my map because I was having one of my mental debates. I was trying to figure out where I would run to if I got TB'd at that specific farming patch. What are the odds that that guy showed up literally as I was thinking about that? What the heck? I've been to this farm patch like 50 times. It just has to be the one where I'm thinking about how to escape. So I'm sure you guys are wondering by this time why I don't have bruise? Well, I've been thinking about it in the background while I do my usual stuff, and it's come down to two options. One, obviously getting 76 Herblord to boost for bruise, and the other is getting 75 Slayer to get bruise from that gargoyle boss. I think I'm going to get 75 Slayer way before I even have the stuff needed for Herblord. So yeah, I think that's my goal right now. Just, you know, smash out as much Slayer as I can to unlock those guys. Ooh, got another superior. Here comes an imbued heart, I can feel it. Ah, of course not. Alright, I saved up six keys for my Slayer tasks. Let's see what I can get with them. Ooh, heck yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh my, what a wonderful, t oh my, wow. Except for the rune ores, this has probably been the best key opening I've had. That is free smithing and free money right there. Thank you. And on top of that, I get a freaking lizardman shaman task. How lovely. First trip of the day for 283k. Oh, shit. Who's this guy? kind of weird having this guy over here. What the fuck? Ah, uh, come on. Don't hit me, please. Oh. Oh. <sighs> what the fuck? I literally DC'd right in front of this guy as he was getting geared to kill me. What in the fuck? You know what? I don't learn my lessons, so I'm gonna mess with this guy. Come man, get it buddy! Is he gonna come? Oh! <laughs> See ya! Okay, so it's been about two or three days since I did Kingdom. Let's see what I get. Hopefully a ton of coal. Ah, oh. Aww, oh, that looks so good. Oh, and all those herbs too. I feel so good right now. Man, Herb Lore is gonna be real good once I have it, you know, going for a couple weeks. And wrapping up the day with about 180k worth of loot. Very nice. Thank you, Lizardman Shamans. Alright, so I chose to wake up real early. I'm going to try and do as many Barrows runs as I can. As you can see, it was like freaking 6 in the morning that I woke up. I don't usually see daylight till like 10 or 11 o'clock, man. This is huge for me. So I'm going to try and get as many Barrows runs as I can. As you can see, I went on Discord and Pimpact is in bed. So this is my best opportunity. I swear, that guy is like the most persistent person out there. So yeah, that's the plan. Alright, chest number 54. Okay. Ugh. Okay, maybe a dance might give me some luck. Come on. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes, I knew it would do the trick. Heck yeah, man. That is the helmet I have been waiting for. Yes! The DH one was good, but this is even better. Has so much more defensive stats, man. There we go. Alright, maybe we can get a back-to-back? -back? Nope. Oh well. I'm happy anyway. Ooh. That's nice. At least it's not the Coif. <laughs> that's not bad. I literally got an item like a few freaking kill counts ago. That's really cool. Ah, uh, come on! Fuck! Why'd I click on the freaking tab? I was supposed to dig! I'm an idiot! 
All right, chest number 64. Um, I guess it's nice. But I have like three different helmets now. Can I please get like a body or a, you know, legs? That would be really nice. All right, so I'm starting to get a headache and I'm gonna elk while my coffee gets ready. See how much we can get. Boom, 700k. Oh, that is so nice. I hate seeing my cash pile under one mil. It's really depressing. Back to barrels we go. All right, as you can see, I'm about to be logged out in five minutes, so this is probably going to be the last chest of the day. Uh, for nothing, of course. Why do I expect anything else? Okay, I lied. I'm gonna keep doing it. I, I can't help myself. I'm, I'm addicted. It feels like a freaking lottery every time I do it. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, come on. Why does this guy hit so hard? Holy crap. I don't know why, but I just ha I get this rush every time I come out here with no food in my inventory and just enchant all of these crystal seeds. Feels so good knowing that nobody can PK me. And random smithing break to throw people off my track. And that is 65 smithing. I was just randomly superheating my stuff and this random guy literally found me out of nowhere. It is, it's been dead quiet here. What's even spookier is, he has really good PKing stats. It's gonna really suck when I get into his bracket. Shit, he knows I'm doing barrels. Damn it. Uh, just know you're being watched? That's just freaking great. Now I'm on someone else's list. Yippee! <laughs> Another dragon plate skirt. Heck yeah. Can you please give me a dragon plate leg next time? I mean, I'm, I'm happy it's, you know, I get I get the drop, but this is like two skirts in a row, man. You know what this reminds me of though? Back in the day, years ago, I was so poor that I actually bought the plate skirt instead of the plate legs because they were cheaper. I was such a noob back in the day, man. I'm glad I can afford plate legs now. Oh my god, not these things again. Come on. Why? Why? I love you. Whoa! <laughs> oh! What is he doing here? How did he know? How does he know? How? Holy crap, this is the most persistent PK I've ever seen in my life. Thanks, pimp. Freaking making me waste 30 Slayer points just to skip this stupid ass task. Thanks, man. And now I have to deal with fucking Iron Dragons because of you. Oh, dude, come on. Hey, and that's 80 hit points, finally. I've been wanting this for so long. I feel so much more tanky now. That also bumps me up to 81 combat, which means up to 95s can attack me. Kind of scary, but at least, you know, it feels a little bit more tanky. Oh yeah, and that is 87 range. Yes! Woo! That is my most favorite task, man. Thank you so much. Ah, I can just imagine all that sweet freaking loot already. So I did some research and found out about this plugin called Banked XP. And if you install it on the plugin hub, you can literally just open up your bank and see how much XP you have banked in any of these skills, which is pretty damn awesome. I'm doing this for Herblord because I want to see how much I have banked. Oh, that's not too bad. 73, pretty much almost 74. That's how many herbs and stuff I have. That's pretty cool. That leaves me with only two levels. That's actually pretty close. I'm pretty sure I could squeeze that out with some more farming and stuff like that. I'm kind of happy you have to make broad bolts. Gives me an excuse to get like passive freaking fletching XP. So I saw Teletubby King get the dragon spear from these guys. So I'm going to try and get it as well. I feel like it's going to be a really good escape tool. Basically I could just stun someone and run away and gap them and probably log out. Maybe get behind some trees. You know, try and escape from them. And it'll be really good for barrels as well because... If anyone tries to hit me, I can just literally go down the, into the hill or up, spear them, and run to the next one to get to safety and find that tunnel. So I'm going to camp these. Hopefully I get it quickly. Ooh, and that's the shield left half. How nice. That's actually pretty good. I'll pro I probably won't get the other half though because it just costs way too much gold. I kind of wish Jagex made it where it absorbed dragon fire as well. It would have been so much better. I think people would actually use it at that point. It's kind of just like a nostalgic item otherwise, just cosmetic. Kind of sucks, given it's like a, you know, dragon item. 
Oh yeah, and that is the Dragon Spear. Heck yeah, that is going to be one of my best items. And it took me only 239 kills. A few hours, but well worth it, man. Man, it's the funniest thing when I run into people in awkward situations. Their mind is absolutely freaking blown. Can you imagine this guy just standing here at the bank, randomly sees a hardcore Iron Man come through the tunnel? Like, what, what, what the heck do you even say to that? What? This dude's literally teasing me. Look at that. He just freaking dropped the dark bow right in front of me. What a tease, man. The weirdest stuff happens on PvP worlds, I swear. Why does the weirdest stuff happen when I show up somewhere? I, I kid you not, like, this stuff does not typically happen. You know what? Since he's going to tease me with those drops, I'm going to call my friend to come and telegrab it. Alright, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> oh, get fucked, dude. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I bet you didn't see that shit coming. <laughs> That's what happens when you tease, man. Can't just drop shit like that in front of me expecting not to do something about it. Oh, oh, come on, one more. <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah. He brought his other account to kill him. Hopefully he gets something. <laughs> what an idiot. Man, it is absolute mayhem down here. What in the heck is going on? He came on his other account to grab the loot and someone just literally like teleblocked him and killed him. Oh well, it's still fun. These kinds of moments are so rare to find, but holy crap is it so freaking funny when it does happen. And that is my most favorite task completed. I wish I could stay here longer. Pimp has no idea that I'm over here probably. Kinda sucks that you can't kill them here without a slayer task. Alright, it's been another two days, let's see what I get for my kingdom. Aw, oh, fuck off, dude. <sighs> of course there's no space in my bank. Alright, I'm back, give me something good. Heck yeah, look at all that freaking coal, man. I love it. Ooh, that's the very first jet task. I am definitely going to do that. That's a fire cape right there. I got to redeem myself. Don't ask. I, I messed up and yeah, just don't ask. Maybe another time. All right, chest 95 for... Oh! Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That's the freaking tank legs unlocked. Now all I need is a tank body and I am freaking done with that. I think all I'm missing is a tank body and the Carol's chest. Back to back, please. Uh, of course not. Oh well. Feels kind of weird getting levels down here, but hey, that's 88 range. Just two more and I get that big 90. Whoa! No! <laughs> yes! Woo! That is the most important piece out of everything here. Holy crap, dude. Now all I need is a freaking tank body? And I am done with the essentials. Aw oh, yeah. The barrels tab is looking really good now. Look at all that. I have like every freaking helmet. I have tank legs, the carol set. Everything is looking real good now. Hopefully this luck continues. Huh. Looks like someone refreshed my temple like five minutes ago. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep going. And chest 104. Nope. Absolute crap. Okay. Who the heck is checking my temple all the time? Literally, it was checked almost two minutes ago. Who the heck is this? Must be some random guy. I don't think it's anyone I know. Pimp isn't on either. Fucking god. That was really close. Frickin' C Engineer, man. Scared the living shit out of me. Thank fuck my tunnel was the first one. 
Holy crap, dude. What are the odds that the first freaking hill I go into is the tunnel? Oh, it was not meant to be, was it? Alright, this sounds crazy, but you know what? I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna finish the run. Maybe, because I got attacked by him, he'll give me some luck on this next chest. I know it sounds stupid, but I have full food, I think I'm okay. I'll, I'll just run back down to this hill and just go down into the tunnel if I get caught anyway. I have the spear, so I think I'll be fine. Alright, will I get some luck after being attacked by Sea Engineer? Fuck. Of course not. How could I get luck from a dude that didn't even get a freaking barrels piece to like 200 something kills? Oh well, it was worth a try. That is going to be a wrap for Barrows for a while. Now that Sea Engineer knows I'm doing it, he's probably going to camp the living crap out of that, which means Solo Mission knows, which means Pimp Act is going to know, the whole freaking gang is going to know, so I'm going to take it easy for a little bit. I've actually changed my mind on the brew grind. Even though I'm still pushing Slayer hard, I'm actually pretty close to 76 Herb Lord. I've been doing some math, and there's about 86k XP I can get from Diary Lamps, so I'm going to knock out every single diary I can do. But, I'm not going to claim the lamps until I have 76 banked. I don't want to tip off the hunters because if they see me getting a ton of Herblore XP, I'm sure they'll start camping the freaking farm patches. But if I keep it like this where Slayer is the bulk of my grind, as well as Barrows, I might just slide by easier because they'll be looking for me elsewhere. And I got quite a few crystal keys I'm going to unlock and see what I get. Nice, got some coal and some iron. This is going to be useful because I really need more skills, necklaces, and bracelets to get around. I only have a few and I have to keep recharging them, which is kind of annoying. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. See ya!